Hello there. Today we'll talk about Rabbit MQ interview questions. So if you are preparing for interview and if Rabbit MQ is one of the topic in your interview, then you this is the slide for you. What is Rabbit MQ? Rabbit MQ is an open source message broker software. It is also known as the message queuing technology. It defines queues to which applications communicate for data transfer or message transmission. Any kind of information could be included in a message. This message is processed by the recipient application. So a typical architecture looks like this where we have publisher on the one side and consumer on the other side and then we have this exchange where publisher sends the message and exchange decides based on the routes uh, where it will go. When and why to use RabbitMQ? Message queuing is useful, is useful when you want to exchange messages for consumption or for balance of loads between workers with multiple recipients. The user is able to take messages from the queue while the producer is in the queue and start processing. The consumer can be on a different server or on the same server than the publisher. The requested application can be of any language and the consumer application is of other language. The message broker would not care about the application language. It just sends messages between the consumer and the receiver, which also reduces the dependencies or coupling between the applications. Next question can be, uh, what is binding and routing key? If this is asked, you can answer. A binding is a bridge that you set up to connect a queue to an exchange and the routing key is an attribute message that the exchange examines while determining how to route the message to queues. What is RabbitMQ channel? They enable you to have a single connection to the RabbitMQ server, but for different parts of your application, they have sandbox communication. Channels are how the RabbitMQ server communicates with, our, with your application. It holds one connection per client process and, may, and many channels in that process. Which protocol RabbitMQ uses? RabbitMQ uses Advanced Message Queuing Protocol. It is an open standard layer which is used to communicate data across layer networks by means of byte stream. How to implement RabbitMQ retry mechanism? Whenever any data in the message is transmitted that receiver does not accept or when a message is sent to a queue that does not exist, the message is retired and sent up to a set number of times. Even if the communication is not received by the recipient but is sent from the sender's end. Now in such instance, the message queue is marked as undeliverable or dead letter queue. What is exchange? Messages are not posted directly in the queue. Rather, the user sends message to the exchange and exchange is responsible for routing the message to the various queues. An exchange receives messages from the producer request and routes them by binding and routing keys to message queues. A binding is a linkage between the exchange and a queue. What is RabbitMQ host? VHOST is also called virtual host. It is an AMQP, is a namespace for objects such as exchange, queues, and bindings. RabbitMQ utilizes more concrete implementation of virtual host through effectively making them virtual cluster on top of broker. How RabbitMQ differ from ActiveMQ? RabbitMQ is open source message broker with support for several protocols written in Erlang, whereas ActiveMQ is also open source with support for several protocols written in Java language. Is RabbitMQ supports MQTT message queue to elementary transport? RabbitMQ supports MQTT 3.1.1 3 through a plugin that ships to their core distribution. Support for MQTT, uh, it also supported uh, MQTT features which is QoS0 and QoS1 for publish and consume, QoS2 for publish, TLS, session stickiness, retained message with plug pluggable storage backends, last will and treatment. Testament. What is Erlang? Why it is required for RabbitMQ? Erlang is a general purpose concurrent functional programming language as well as garbage collector runtime environment. The RabbitMQ server is written in Erlang programming language and is built on the open telecom platform framework for clustering and failover. Since RabbitMQ is built on top of Erlang, we will first need to install Erlang before installing RabbitMQ. Does RabbitMQ have any concept of message priority? RabbitMQ does have concept of priority. We can define the queue's priority range at the time of the queue when the queue is created. Messages where priority is not set gets priority of zero. Messages with a numeric priority higher than maximum set on the queue gets the highest priority on the queue that the queue supports. Is RabbitMQ persistent? Having a queue durable is not same as making persistent messages. Messages can be distributed either with making mode to persistent or transient. When you post your message, you need to set the delivery mode to persistent if you want to remain in if you want it to remain in your long lasting queue during restart. 
is the RabbitMQ user database. RabbitMQ inten intentionally does not store messages in database. RabbitMQ write messages to disk in below two ways. First, message published in delivery mode and the memory pressure uh, pressure caused RabbitMQ to run out of RAM and transfer message to the disk to free up RAM. Does RabbitMQ is a push cell port? RabbitMQ uses a push template and prevents exhaustive consumer through the prefetch configuration limit. Pull is used by Kafka where consumers request for message from a particular offset batches. What is red letter exchange in RabbitMQ? If there is no appropriate queues for message, the message will be dropped. RabbitMQ offers an AMQP extension known as dead letter for Dead letter exchange. The dead letter exchange provides feature for collecting non-deliverable messages. What is the routing key in RabbitMQ? The routing key is a message attribute. The routing algorithm directs the exchange. The simple a message goes to the queue whose binding key exactly matches with the routing key of the message. What are the different types of exchange types in RabbitMQ? RabbitMQ has following type of exchanges. Direct helps in transferring the message to the queues on the basis of message routing key. Fanout helps in sending message to all the queues that are linked with it. Topic helps in ex exchanging messages between the routing key and the binding routing app pattern. And header helps in exchanging the route attribute of the header. How to delete all queues in RabbitMQ? You can use it through the command line RabbitMQ CTL stop underscore app or RabbitMQ CTL uh, reset or start in and start underscore app. What is server in RabbitMQ? RabbitMQ server are robust and scalable implementation of MQP broker. It helps in displaying a banner message and reports on the progress in the startup sequence with the message broker running. That indicates the RabbitMQ broker has been started successfully. RabbitMQ uh, works on which port? So RabbitMQ work on 15672 for RabbitMQ version 3.x and port number 55672 for RabbitMQ which is prior to 3.x. What is messaging? Messaging is a communication mechanism used for system interaction in software development. Messaging enables distributed communication that is loosely coupled. A messaging client can send message to and receive message from any other client. What is AMQP? AMQP is an advanced messaging queuing protocol. It is an open standard application layer protocol for message oriented middleware. How to restart uh, RabbitMQ? You can restart with through command line sudo service RabbitMQ server restart. We also get a specific control interface as well, sudo RabbitMQ CTL report and uh, reset. What is the routing key in RabbitMQ? The message structure in RabbitMQ is divided into two parts. They are payload and routing keys. The routing key is used to describe the payload passed by the system and the messaging itself to determine who will be the receiver of the payload. The routing key also enables you to bind queues to the exchange to deliver the message to the queue based on the type of the exchange. What are the disadvantages of MQ? So it has just some few disadvantages such as reduced system availability, dependency on the odd side. You need to consider MQ lost message, the problem of repeated consumption, etc. It takes effort to ensure the order of message uniformity. So these are the few disadvantages. What is fanout exchange? Fanout exchange routes the message to all the queues which are bound to it. Say if there are five queues bound to a fanout exchange, then we then when message can comes to fanout exchange it will go to all the five queues it is a kind of public subscribe what is binding it is a link or a connection between exchange and queues for example for exchange to route the message to a particular queue that queue should be bound to exchange with routing key or headers so thank you so much for watching today's video and if you think the videos are helpful do like the video and subscribe to the channel